Why is China's economy collapsing? China has a few issues that may be contributing to its economy's slowdown. One is trade. There are tensions between the US and China, and this is slowing growth. Another is the weak yuan, which is on track for its worst year in decades. This weak currency spooks investors and fuels uncertainty in financial markets. It also makes it more difficult for the central bank to inject money into the economy. The financial system in China is experiencing widespread problems, especially in the property sector. A credit bubble of historic proportions has created a lot of instability in the financial system. As a result, banks and lenders are now wary of providing capital to otherwise promising projects. In addition, investors are starting to question whether Beijing is truly committed to supporting economic growth. The Chinese are worried, to say the least. Before we dive in and tell the full story, kindly subscribe to the channel and like the video. China, a global economy giant. Although China is still a giant in the global economy, it does not have the juggernaut status of the West. It faces multiple challenges including slow productivity growth, demographic decline, and continued brain drain of entrepreneurs and technology workers. The country is not doing a good job of maintaining stable economic growth. As a result, it is far from being self-sufficient. A major slowdown in China would be a significant setback for the world economy. However, there are tools available to U.S. policymakers to influence Chinese economic policy and repair the damage done by Chinese mercantilism. They must use these tools to undermine the false narrative that China is on an unstoppable path of economic growth. China is killing its tech giants. If you have been following China's tech sector, you may have noticed that the Chinese government is getting increasingly stricter on monopolies. The new anti-monopoly rules will likely lead to more competition within the tech ecosystem. Today, China has at least 40 technology giants, and these companies continue to acquire competitors, steal intellectual property from vendors, and dominate new sectors like the metaverse. The new anti-monopoly rules are aimed at limiting the power of these companies to gain market share and force incumbents to improve their own products and services. China is taking swift action to crack down on tech companies, and new regulations rolled out over the past year have targeted a variety of industries, including gaming and entertainment, as well as education. It has even made it mandatory for after-school tutoring services to register as non-profit organizations threatening to drive out private education providers. Beijing is not playing its role. Beijing isn't doing enough to help small businesses in China, and that's a big problem. According to a senior analyst at the German think tank Chemie RICS, the slowing economy will not harm China's efforts to expand industries, which are critical to China's long-term survival. The Central Bank of China has pushed local governments to finance central planners' infrastructure projects. But the local governments have limited resources and cannot handle the needs of the nation's financial system. Only Beijing can fill this role and Beijing has so far failed to do so. The failures will only spread until Beijing is more decisive. China's policymakers have been aware of the need to rebalance the economy for a decade now. While the economy has been experiencing rapid growth, there has been a lot of waste and inefficiency in the system. This has led to a lot of debt and financial losses. It has also created a culture of evergrands who feed on easy money and end up in financial ruin. Beijing needs more unconventional measures to revive the economy. While interest rates are too low to create a full-blown liquidity trap, China's economy is still suffering from a lack of consumer demand. A 10 basis point cut in the PBOC's lending rates is unlikely to be enough to spur banks to lend to small businesses. Moreover, banks are already lending to each other at lower rates. In addition, analysts say that more fundamental measures are needed to revive the economy. China's property market in crisis. China's property market is experiencing a meltdown. Although Beijing had announced a 1 trillion yuan, $203 billion, 180 billion pounds plan to boost small businesses, infrastructure, and real estate. But it hasn't presented a clear blueprint of action yet. Most of the country's largest property developers are struggling to meet debt repayments, and even those that are still thriving are facing a liquidity crisis. As a result, a potential collapse of the property market could severely affect the entire economy. This would hurt suppliers, small and medium-sized construction companies, and household consumption. 
Furthermore, as a third of the banking system's assets are in the property, a collapse in the property market would affect the entire banking system. The slowdown in the property market is having a severe impact on home buyers. According to some estimates, over 300 groups of homeowners are refusing to pay their mortgages. This has led to a spiral of debt, with developers using new investors' money to finance their own projects. Climate change is worsening the situation. According to new research, climate change is worsening the situation of China's economy. Rising sea levels and flooding are expected to hurt the economy the most. A warming climate is also threatening the country's food security, which depends on crops such as rice. Moreover, climate change is expected to increase the intensity and frequency of hurricanes and other weather events. The report also warns that humankind must act quickly to avoid a disastrous outcome. Climate change is already a major threat to China's coastal cities. They contain over a third of the country's population and account for a third of its GDP. Rising sea levels and storm surges already cause coastal flooding and salt water intrusion. By the end of the century, the economic output of these coastal cities could suffer by as much as 0.5 to 2.3 percent. China's unemployment rate soars. China is facing a steep decline in its job market. The number of unemployed youth has risen to a record high, surpassing the previous high of 19.3 percent in June. This is a significant issue for the CCP, as a high youth unemployment rate is a major concern for political stability. But there are some measures the CCP can take to help address the problem. One suggestion is to provide rural work for urban students, which is a common practice in China. However, this approach will only go so far. The Chinese Communist Party will have to reverse some of the policies that have caused the country to fall into this economic crisis. China's unemployment rate has risen significantly in the last five years. This has been attributed to a variety of factors. The government has been trying to improve the employment situation in China, including a focus on helping the youth. But the COVID-19 pandemic has also had a negative impact on the economy, resulting in the first urban youth employment crisis since the Mao era. China's economy and the future. While China's economy has been growing steadily in recent years, it has hit a point where it no longer grew at the pace of its previous growth model. That has led to increasing inequality, financial debt, and environmental damage. Xi Jinping, the president of China, is trying to fix this but not doing it the right way. His crackdown on private businesses aimed to control disorderly activity is proving damaging.